Hello everyone, this is a short video on uh, further two prototypes of a reverse rocket stove or a downdraft rocket stove as you prefer and uh, I've been developing this project together with uh, trying too hard you can see the link to our channels on YouTube uh, in the description of the video you may remember uh, this uh, prototype of uh, downdraft rocket stove from one of uh, trying too hard videos and uh, you can see it has a fairly long combustion chamber and uh, not so wide here you can see that I made some modifications I installed a bigger combustion chamber there were uh, hair gaps I closed with uh, aluminium foil and uh, the chim chimney collects the gases from further inside with a baffle now I'm pointing more or less the depth that the chi chimney is uh, sucking up the gases now let's see details on the construction of uh, the stove you can see here the difference between the, the combustion chamber and the internal exhaust of uh, the rocket stove core you can see as well here the difference between uh, the internal exhaust and uh, the position of uh, the chimney inside the rocket stove heater and here you can see what how I improvised an internal baffle uh, for the stove now let's see the stove working I closed uh, all the entrance except for a small gap to load wood with uh, a piece of sheet of metal the stove was really really difficult to start uh, uh, going the draft in the right direction and uh, uh, you can see lots of smoke uh, coming out of uh, the chimney uh, so much so that uh, the combustion was not efficient and uh, I had to remove the internal baffle and I decided to put the chimney on the top of uh, the heater and see how it goes out how it works with a bigger combustion chamber after the modification the stove seems to work much better uh, with uh, much less smoke but uh, there is uh, still a tiny bit of smoke uh, and uh, the prototype that uh, uh, trying too hard showed seems to be more efficient than uh, uh, this uh, model over here thank you very much for watching and uh, sorry once more for my broken English